Okay guys, so today is something that is a little bit of a change of pace. You may have noticed in previous videos that next to my Audi R8 in the garage, there is a car with a cover on it. And I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is, but we're going to uncover that today and do some work. So I am excited to show you guys what has been under that cover this entire time. I don't think this is going to be a super fast progressing project, but uh, yeah, we're just doing some investigations today, probably some pretty basic repairs um, and also getting the, the headliner out without cracking it. So let's go take a look. Both sides. Oh, that's not a pretty good one. Let's say we can push it out. Okay. Yeah. That's reasonable to me. Yeah. All right. You two behind, and I'll stay here and here. Okay. Yep. Yes. Yep. They should. Going? Oh. Yeah. I just want to make sure we don't clip your door. Oh, are we getting that close on that side? No, on the uh, on your side. I'm gonna yeah. close it. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna close it. This is a lot easier to push than I remember. Okay. <laughs> right? Yeah. Buick Grand National is an unforgettable piece of American automotive history, known for its bold looks and serious performance. Launched in the 1980s as a high-performance version of the Buick Regal, it quickly made a name for itself. Under the hood of this one, we have a 3.8 liter turbocharged V6 that gave it an edge over many sports cars of the time. With rear wheel drive, the Grand National delivered an exhilarating driving experience and was way ahead of its time. Often called the Corvette killer, this car could surprisingly take down some of the fastest vehicles on the road of the time. It became a legend for its ability to outrun the competition, proving that it was more than just another muscle car. It was a performance powerhouse that could go toe to toe with the best. That's the car that's been under the cover this whole time next to the R8. Uh, the longer that it's sat there, the more that I'm like, yeah, I really want to get this thing on the road. But it is owned by uh, Jason with the Nissan GTR. Uh, so this has been passed down to him. And uh, yeah, we're just going to do a headliner removal today. That's goal number one. And goal number two is to take a look at the gas tank, potentially drop it, maybe even pump some gas out. But we'll see how it goes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now turn around. <laughs> Holy smokes. Alright. So now, these, these have to come here to get the back of it out because it's pretty well actually anchored in there. I bet. Do you move forward that way or this way? Fold it a little bit. We can't fold too much, really. Oh, let's roll down the window, maybe? Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Probably can't, though, because uh, no. Oh, battery did. Yeah. Shit. We could. Oh, I've got an idea. What? Let's try putting down that uh, seat over there. Oh. And then maybe bring it down towards the floor. I don't know if that's possible. Okay. Here, drag it on the bottom part down here. Yeah, see the. There we go. Oh, I think it's just gonna scrape it off. Mike, can you? Get that part right here. We got it. We're here! Can we just drop the thing and break it all? 
Alright, let's take a look at it. See if we can salvage it. It's here three, four hundred bucks. Doesn't look very bad in there. So it's got some severe cracks here. That was on the passenger side, right? That was the one that was pointing out to you. Yes. And we got a big ch missing chunk down the driver's side. And we got a big crack over here. So I think if we're gonna salvage it, if we're gonna salvage this at all, look at this. And we gotta put fabric on that. I think if I remember correctly, my dad just bought the foam and made his own. He used the old one as a template. So, I don't know how you'd use it as a template to shape it though. This is curved. Yeah. See how it's got this? If you don't see this in the headliner, True. you're gonna, it's gonna look weird in the car. So yeah, yeah for his Vicky. Makes sense. I don't know what he did with Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. He got me eye drops and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I got a mouth and a, an eye full of gasoline. Yeah, chocolate milk gasoline. Chocolate. I'm going to wash it down with some IPA, which will taste about the same. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. But it was pretty ugly, huh? It looked pretty ugly from my perspective. Yeah. It was literally <laughs> chocolate milk. Yeah. Just fucking blasted by it. Yeah, we were dropping the gasoline tank, and uh, we didn't think it was going to be so much pressure right. on the other side. And I think uh, it's from us trying to originally start it. <laughs> oh yeah, that so would make sense. That means the fuel pump's working. Yeah, that's a really good point. That means the fuel pump's working. That's good at least. Yeah, it's just on this strap now, but it's on the strap. Good job. Oh, that's good. Good job. Nice. Oh my God. Lovely chalky milk. <laughs> nice. And that's the pump right on top, isn't it? Yep. That's the pump. Yeah. Spice it, yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh, yeah, See how like... dirty it is now though? Oh. I mean a lot of dirt. I don't know. So I'd like to do also somehow figure out how to pull it. Oh that's doing great. It looks like it was getting a lot of fuel there. Is this full? Yeah. Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah, it's totally fucking insane. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And if you want to see the difference, see how it goes light? It's 100% drain and fuel. That's great. Somehow. I don't know where the little hose is at. Yeah, that's doing well. Nice. Get your little float valve there. God, that looks so much easier to get in than what I've had to deal with. That's what she said! <laughs> So we successfully got the. So we successfully got the headliner out and got the gas tank dropped and drained. And then now we're gonna toss some gas into it. New gas.
Oh yeah, I'll slip the thing out. Get the goal. Oh, I just now realized your RPMs are like digital. The 80s, baby. That is so cool. Also, the car does the hot rod thing. Watch the whole thing rock. Oh my god. You're oh my god. Right, it does. That's so cool. <laughs> so, we have resurrected this car for the third time. <laughs> the engine has a fully uh, forged and built bottom end, uh, but I haven't touched any of the heads or the top end at all. So that's the original 87 turbo, original 87 fuel injectors and spark plugs and everything. And it probably needs a tune-up. So I think because the fuel pump is original, fuel injector is original, I'm probably gonna go through and do a real mild upgrade, get new parts for those, uh, get probably a higher flowing fuel pump, higher flowing fuel injectors, um, get a chip for it so it can tune those properly and then get a forced performance turbo they make my favorite turbos they have the fp green that was on my evo and the fp black which is on my talon um, and so they make a forced performance turbo for this i'd like to get one of theirs just pretty close to the oem size 87 didn't have the most efficient of turbos so and do just a real mild uh kind of update to the engine um, and that's probably about it. I don't even think I'll take the, the headers off. Nice. So, but we might we may end up doing that. You can show them how easy it is to get to the turbo. <laughs> yeah, I already did. <laughs> um, so I don't know how much we have to pull apart. I'll be learning as we go. I've never worked with one of these. I don't know much about them. It's gonna be fun though. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, I do know that we have had the uh, vacuum system on the brakes fully rebuilt. This is actually a pretty tricky little system. 3R Automotive had a professional. Uh, completely restore the original uh, braking system so we didn't have to put anything aftermarket in there. This is the engine as it was in 1987. It's nice. got 74,000 miles on it and looks barely a few days over, drove off the lot. Perfect. Well, Excited. it was fun working. It was fun working. <laughs> Time to go uh, get some food. Yeah, wash the <laughs> gasoline shower I had off of myself. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. We're just driving by. You got some beautiful cars. Oh, thank you. You guys in the neighborhood? Yeah, we always drive by. He's working at Lakewood Country Club. So oh, nice. I live over here by uh, Lady Fatima. Okay, cool. I saw your R8. Yeah. It's been on my list for a while. Nice. They don't make them anymore. So. They don't, they don't. But I'm Marty. I'm Michael. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm Marty. Hey, good. Nice to meet you. Like, is that yours? This one's mine, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and I've got the Mazda Miata under the cover right now, too. and. The engine's broken on it. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the rotary, right? 
No, that one's just a... Or did they only get the rotary in the... RX-7. The RX-7, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which was a great motor. Oh, yeah. It's a funky motor. I see why people like it so much, but yeah. It's got that good torque on it. Yes. Yeah, we were just driving by. Don't yeah. need trespass. No, absolutely. No worries at all. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by. We just got uh, this thing worked on today. Things feeling pretty good so far. It seems to be fine. Uh, you know, the shocks have not been ever replaced. It sounds so good though. It does. 